In this module, we will cover the concepts and mathematics behind earned value management. Earned value management is a common technique used to measure project performance. The idea is that each work package completed represents value that has been earned by the project team. Spending a dollar today does not always correlate to earning a dollar. Sometimes poor estimation or unexpected events affecting project execution may cause work performance to deviate from the plan. Earned value calculations compare actual performance to baseline estimates to measure progress intermittently throughout the project life cycle. Here are the basics. We can compare how much work is actually done to how much work should be done to reveal schedule performance. We can compare what work is done to how much money was spent on the work to reveal cost performance. Value is only earned if the work is completed. Imagine a simple scenario. You have been tasked to complete five simple activities, each plan to take one day to complete, and cost $200 each. Throughout the week, we can use earned value management calculations to measure our performance. Let's begin by visualizing performance. On day one, you complete task A at a cost of $200. If we were to perform variance analysis to measure performance, it appears that we are exactly on budget and on schedule. On day two, you complete task B at a cost of $300. Now performing variance analysis reveals that we are still on schedule but are over budget. On day three, you only complete half of task C and have spent another $100. At this point, we are behind schedule because we should be done with task C. Additionally, we have spent $600 but have only accomplished $500 worth of work. It seems we are behind schedule and over budget. On day four, you finish task C and task D and spend $150. We are now back on schedule, but slightly over budget. We have spent $850 and only completed $800 worth of work. On day five, you finish task E and spend $100. We have finished the project on schedule and under budget we finished $1,000 worth of work in five days for a total cost of $950. At any given time during project execution, there is a series of information that should be known by the project management team. First, the project team should know the estimated total cost of the project or the project budget. Typically, this will be agreed upon by key project stakeholders and approved into a cost baseline. In earned value, we call this budget at completion and abbreviate it as BAC. The project team should also know the amount of money that has been spent on resource effort, materials, and equipment. This work performance data must be collected by the project management team sometimes involving status reports, team meetings, conversation, or automated IT systems. In earned value, we call this actual cost and abbreviate it AC. Planned value represents the value of work that should be completed based on the current date and time. By knowing the percentage of work that should be or is planned to be completed, and the budget at completion, the team can calculate the planned value. For instance, if the project was scheduled to take five days and cost $1,000, the planned value after one day, or 20% of the schedule, would be $200. Simply put, planned value 
is the dollar value of the work that should be done. In contrast, earned value represents the value of the work that has been reported as complete. By knowing the percentage of work that has been accomplished and the budget at completion, the team can calculate the earned value. For instance, if the project was scheduled to take five days and cost $1,000, the earned value after 40% of the scope statement being completed would be $400. Simply put, earned value is the dollar value of the work that is completed. Once we understand where we should be, represented by planned value, where we are, represented by earned value, and the cost of our achievement, represented by actual cost, we can measure our project performance. In earned value management, four work performance measurements will be used. Schedule variance and cost variance can be used by the team to understand the current performance in dollars. The schedule performance index and cost performance index will be used to understand a ratio of overall project budget. We will use three simple steps to learn the formulas of these four measurements. Step one is that all formulas begin with earned value. This should make sense because the only way to measure actual performance is to know how much work is actually completed. Step two is to use the proper mathematical operator. The word variance is another word for difference or subtraction. So we will use subtraction for both schedule and cost variance calculations. An index can also be thought of as a ratio or division. So we will use division for both schedule and cost performance index calculations. Step three is to use the proper comparative value. To better understand schedule performance, we will compare what we earned against what we should have earned, or planned value. Simply put, schedule variance measures the difference between the work completed and work planned. SPI measures the ratio of work completed and work planned. To better understand cost performance, we will compare what we earned against what we spent or actual costs. Simply put, cost variance measures the, the difference of the value of work completed and actual costs of that work. CPI measures the ratio of work completed and actual costs. For example, if we planned to be done with $100 of work, but only accomplished $70 of work, our schedule variance will be negative $30, and our schedule performance index will be 0, 0.70, meaning we are behind schedule. If it only cost us $50 to accomplish this work, our cost variance will be positive $20, and our cost performance index will be 1.4, meaning we have good cost performance, or we are under budget. It is important to understand that the performance measurements for cost and schedule are completely independent. One can be good while the other can be poor, and vice versa. Alternatively, they can both be positive or they can both be negative. The rule of thumb is that a positive variance equates to positive performance, such as ahead of schedule or under budget. A negative variance represents negative performance. A variance equal to zero means that the performance exactly matches the plan. Similarly, performance indexes greater than one represent good performance, while indexes less than one represent poor performance. An index that's equal to one means that your performance is exactly equal to your plan. Let's revisit our scenario from earlier, this time calculating performance. Remember that our budget at completion was $1,000 
and that the project was scheduled to take five days. Since each task represents 20% of the project work, the planned value of completing task A will be $200. The planned value of completing task A and task B will be $400, and so on. The planned value of completing all of the work is $1,000. On day one, you complete task A at a cost of $200. Since you have completed 20% of the work, the earned value of work is $200. Our schedule variance is our earned value minus our planned value. Since we earn $200 and plan $200, our schedule variance is zero. Since we earn $200 and spent $200, our cost variance is also zero. On day two, you complete task B at a cost of $300. Since we earned $400 and planned $400, our schedule variance is zero. We now have earned $400 of work, but spent $500, so our cost variance is negative $100. We are over budget. Our cost performance index tells us that for every $1 spent, only 80 cents worth of work has been accomplished. On day three, you only complete half of task C and have spent another $100. Since we have accomplished two and a half tasks and had three tasks planned, we only have completed 50% of the project scope statement. Since all of the work is valued at $1,000, 50% of the work can be valued at $500, which represents earned value. Since we have earned $500 and plan to be done with $600, our schedule variance is negative $100. We are behind schedule. We have now earned $500 worth of work, but spent $600 on that work. So our cost variance is negative $100. We are also over budget. Our indexes tell us that for every day planned, only 0.83 days of work have been accomplished, and for every dollar spent, only 83 cents of work have been accomplished. On day four, you finish task C and task D and spend $150. We are now back on schedule, but slightly over budget. We have spent $850 and only completed $800 worth of work. On day five, you finish task E and spend $100. We have finished the project on schedule and under budget. We finished $1,000 worth of work in five days for a total cost of $950. Let's review some important points to remember for basic earned value management techniques. Planned value represents the schedule baseline reflecting the value of the work that should be completed. Earned value represents the value of the work that has actually been completed. All work performance formulas begin with earned value and are followed by an operator and a performance comparison value. Variances can be used to measure performance in dollars. Schedule variance compares earned value with planned value, while cost variance compares earned value with actual costs. In both cases, positive variances are good and negative variances are bad. Indexes can be used to measure performance as a ratio Schedule Performance Index compares earned value with planned value, while CPI compares earned value with actual costs. In both cases, indexes greater than one are good and less than one are bad. In this lesson, we have explored the basics in calculating work performance measurements to determine project performance. This information can be used to recommend change requests 
that may help to bring future project results closer in line with the plan. Further, these performance measurements can be used as an input to the monitor and control project work process to help communicate the status of project health to various project stakeholders. In other modules, you'll have the opportunity to practice earned value calculations with interactive exercises. We will also explore more advanced earned value concepts to forecast project results based on project performance.